Bro, this one's clean. Honestly, for a really big meet, and a lot of people that went, really surprised that I only got like 75 views on it. Which, kind of uh, disappointing in my part, because I really thought that, you know, I would get more views. But, I'm not trying to get discouraged about it or complain about it or anything. I mean, it is what it is. But, I just feel like you're not really supported unless you're someone big around here. Especially for Idaho, like, it's hard. But... You know, you gotta keep going. Just keep doing what you're doing. Gotta be consistent. Like, nothing's gonna be easy. Which, I get that. But, um... If you haven't watched the video, make sure you guys go watch that video. Give it a thumbs up. And let me know how you like it. Let me know which car, your favorite car. But... I don't know. I guess it just like really sucks because I, I know that my true friends are supporting everything, but I know a lot of people know of me, and I expected a more bigger support, I guess you could say, but I'm just going to keep posting content because it's something that I really enjoy. Like, I really enjoy doing this because last year I've been trying to post YouTube videos, trying to make some kind of content, and I would, like, I would go out and record. I recorded in Mexico, I recorded in Arizona, I recorded for my birthday. I've gone to car meets last year, but it just, like, so it gets to the point where I'm editing, it's like I didn't enjoy it, I guess. So I took a break from it. Now that I'm back, I'm really, really enjoying doing it which obviously I'm gonna keep doing it because you know I really like it and the reason why I like it because it gave to me it feels I feel like it gave me a purpose like I have a purpose I guess you could say so I'm gonna keep posting videos and for the ones that are really truly supporting supporting me I really appreciate you guys and I hope you guys like this video now that looks much better so yeah if you guys seen my previous video i was trying to install my color intake and i broke like a couple of other stuff so i broke this little plastic piece i don't know if you can see the black outline that's been replaced by a zip tie which should hold on i mean it should be good and this thing Basically, it was supposed to be this. Without the gold piece. But you can see how it's supposed to look like if it was all black. Well, we're trying to... We were screwing it in, but it kept screwing. So we tried with... Well, I tried it with the socket, deep socket. Thinking that it would tighten it, but really it just snapped it in half. We went to Ace to get it fixed. Then Junior helped me finish it. But yeah, I contacted um, Personal Performance, they gave me a replacement. So this one's supposed to go here and the other one there, which I already have in there. So now she should be happy. But I'm going to keep this just as uh, memories, I guess. Took like three hours just to install a cold air intake when it should have been like five minutes. Crazy. What do you guys think? Should I put the stickers on? I got the course of performance, BMR suspension, and I think this is more a course of performance sticker. I don't know if I should put them on. I mean, if I put it on, it'll be sitting here. Like that. I think it looks clean. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I? 
Let me know in the comments if I should put the stickers on. Loki, I don't want to because I don't want to give it away, but at the same time, I kind of. I kind of think it looks mean, aggressive. Like, oh, this guy's serious when you see the stickers. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I definitely hate when the keys are not in the car and she starts honking when you close the door. It's so annoying, especially when it's like 4.30 in the morning and you're trying to go to work, trying to be quiet for your neighbors. But, hey, she honks. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Antoine, for those who don't know me. And today I'm going to be doing something in the Mustang. Basically, now that we install the intake, well, airflow. And the factory grill is really nice. I really like it and I'm trying to keep it. I want to keep it. But the problem with that is the... I feel like it's not getting as much air as it should. Or maximum air. So what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go to Harbor Freight. Get one of those like drill mill. And see if I can get rid of the plastic. Let me show you. So I don't know if you can see all that plastic. There's some holes, but there's more plastic right there. And right here as well. So I'm gonna try to make it as clean as possible. I mean, I've never done this, let alone. I never saw the air intake before and I broke it, so. I hope that doesn't happen, all right? But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go to Harbor Freights. Get that going, but damn, she's dirty, dog. It's like every video, she's either clean or dirty. All right, let's get going. Hmm. Now I'm at Harbor Freights. Well, I think it's over here. I bought a bunch of random stuff, bro. I guess you could say I got more than what I needed. Got oh. the car. on the grill hopefully I have what I need I think I do I've never ever used one so it would be like a whole new learning experience yeah I got that got a drying towel for the car okay I said Leon took my other one and it's been like a year since he took it and he has to get the back then last, plastic restore. I don't know how good these things are. I've heard good, good things about it. But I don't know if they last longer if it's temporary. But we'll see. Bro. What the hell is our neighbor doing? I swear they're always doing something. 
I think what they're doing is they're adding cement in front of the garage. So yeah, it's kind of like a busy traffic over here. Wrong time to be doing it too because there's school. It's like 2.11, so in about what? 49 minutes, school's gonna be out. And this freaking street gonna be full of cars. Anyways. I got this. I don't even know. I don't even know how to cut plastic and I don't even know if I'm using the right thing. But I'm gonna try to cut this and see if, um, what it does, maybe? Just experiment. But it looks. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut it. And. Well, we'll see. Bro, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. I try to make a little hole, um, right there. But I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if I'm using the right thing. <sighs> I look ridiculous. There's little pieces of plastic all over the place. You know, I don't even know what I'm doing. <sighs> I'm gonna do some research, figure out what else I can do. I'll get back to I'll get back to you guys and show you the result if I even start. Anyways. <sighs> no way. Guys, take this Mustang away from me before I ruin it. You guys wanna see it? You guys wanna see it? And if you can see, I drilled some two extra holes. Well, it looks bad from far away. As soon as you get really close to it, it's like kind of ghetto. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to keep going, but probably will. We'll see what how it turns out. I went ahead and put on the sand grinder to grind out the edges in there which I think you can see it looks a lot better and from back here can't even tell it looks very normal I suppose not bad uh, could be better definitely glad I didn't, I didn't fuck it up but it looks good I don't know if I'm going to continue drilling more holes. I might, actually. But we'll see. So I opened up about one, two... One, two, three, five. Nearly like in 50 minutes. It took me like five holes to do. So about like what? 10 minutes? Rachel. I think I'm done for that. I think it's good where it's at. Definitely ruined the paint, but it's alright. I could always go with a different aftermarket. But I'm gonna stick to the stock one. Very happy with it. I mean, I didn't necessarily ruin it, but it's definitely looking more like a race car. So I'm happy with that. Not gonna lie. I'm happy with it. We'll see how she does. I might do more holes later. Probably tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But right now, I want to go wash this thing, get her cleaned up. Then after that, I think I'm just gonna end the video. So let's go wash her. Got the towel in there. Wheel cleaner. Um, interior protector. Wait, where is that? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
let's not forget the plastic restorer. Got the plastic restorer. I think that's about it. Yo, finally I'm at the car wash. I'm gonna wash it real quick. Alright. I forgot to bring coins, but good thing I have cash on me, so it shouldn't be too bad. But, um, oh, you can use your debit card too. I might use that too. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get started washing her. Tell the plastic looks cleaner. Again, I used a black plastic restorer. And the difference on the other side. I don't know if you can see that. It's like more of a whitish. But yeah. I'm going to try to keep putting this stuff on and it should be done. It's a whole lot better. She cleaned up. Much closer look to see. It's not bad, I mean, from a distance. Can't even tell. But as you get closer and then you can see. The paint is bad. Well, I mean, look, it doesn't look bad. I'm actually happy with it. And the plastic restore, I think it's only temporary. I don't think it's gonna last long. Maybe like a, a week max. Until it gets dirty again, go through the wash, and then I'm going to have to do it all over again. Turn on the AC because it's freaking hot in here, dog. Uh, well, I think I'm going to end the video there. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And please support. Peace. I ain't religious, I don't follow no pope. Satan out here knock knocking, ain't no jokes. Going back to my sin like a dog to a bone. Jesus didn't come for first class, he can't.